When your best isn't good enough. I hope you never know that pain from the scars of a shattered heart that just won't scab no matter how hard you try. I hope you never know what it's like to ache at four in the morning, wide awake, can't sleep, in defeat of every fleeting memory you thought you lost. Yet they're slowly fading. The way she tastes, while she crinkles her lip around the edges, contorting it into the swirls of the struggling brush on canvas. The ring of her voice crying out your name in those sweet whispers like rose petals blooming at last yet. It's already too late. Your stem had been clipped from the bush. I hope you never have to lose your senses drunk on her elixir, but it is not the elixir of life. It is drunk to gurgling while she tastes like sugar, but she's cyanide, and you know that you're never enough. You willingly foam at the mouth at the gift she gave you. You thanked her for it because there's just something about that sweet Novocaine driving you to ruin with every dose. Even when you give all of you to the point it's killing you, suffocating the last space in your blackened lungs, it still isn't enough. I hope you never have to face that hard decision, staring down the sights of the knife or that pen longing over and over again just to glimpse at the way she breathes next to you. She sucks the life from you, but breathes it back into her, and it's okay. You can't stop staring. Just trusting she is breathing. While you're screaming and no one can hear, buried alive out at sea, it's drowning you deep in that drink on the sinking ship while every sane person had already left it to abandon. I hope you never have to listen to the whisper on the wind, wishing that it swarms around your ears, distorting the ricochets that she left behind, always on your mind that you can't fight anymore. She's consumed you. She's deep in the vein, coursing like beautiful air and poison to your lips with her hands wrapped around your hips and her talons sunk in your neck. They leave five small dots in their wake. She brings those icicle fingers to your sternum, piercing the veil while wrapping it gingerly around your thudding box, lightly tugging it from the socket. You wish she'd be softer while she does it, but she will do what she pleases. Then you're stunned because you know she was born to fly. And she's so high above you. You never wanted to clip her wings. But they were made of wax, and she's too close to the sun. You carry her. She resents it. She slaps you in the face, spinning her venom from under that wicked tongue in the guise of one word. Love. But then you're speechless. You don't even know if you're still breathing. Or laying on the cold hard pavement in a pool of crimson after she pushed you from the balcony of cloud nine, having no intention of ever catching you while you fall. She ascends above you, sinking you in that grave, hammering the nails while throwing the first fistful of dirt. Yet, she still makes you sore. The matter of which depends on the spelling. 